and we are back. So, we're going to continue. So, let's have a, all right, round, uh, boss is up there, let's go back to work. See you around. So, we've told Talia where we are uh, with that letter. So, now we are basically pretending to be pirates. Literally, I'm going to spend the last level of World of Warcraft to get into max level pretending to be a pirate. Not fighting some kind of... So before I get to max level, I'm not doing anything super heroic. I am literally going to spend the last part of leveling in this game currently pretending to be a pirate. And I, th I feel like that is um, admirable at best. At worst, a little corny. But who cares? Okay, so... We got a quest over here. Wanted a sternly worded letter. Ask Ned, Nance, Barmy, and Nub Nub about the treasure, and then go find it. Okay. So I've got to go ask some people about what happened to some goddamn treasure. Okay. I quite like this because I never leveled through this. But these are, um, this is cool. Like seeing all the pirate lore in this game. So this guy can't hear us. Oh, buried treasure. Nope, don't know nothing about no treasure. Okay. Those guys are playing Hearthstone. <laughs> I see what you I see what you're doing here, Blizz. I see you. Look at that. They're actually having a game of Hearthstone in World of Warcraft. That's very meta. Does that mean that the cards they're playing have actual characters from this game on? Because that'd be really weird. That's like top trumps. Basically, because oh, I'm going to play this Thrall Shaman card, right? But Thrall exists in their world, so that'd be like me going, <laughs> "I have the Dalai Lama card, bitch." To be fair, that's epic <laughs> product placement. Oh, I'm waiting for... Actually, I was going to say I was waiting for a Diablo reference, but they had a whole uh, holiday dedicated to a Diablo references where you got teleported to a field full of these massive death cow things and you had to fight the death cows and that, uh, that came through portals, which is a massive reference to a, like a cow of doom or something. I think it was from Diablo 2. Show the poster. What do you know about the buried treasure? Come on, nub nub. Come on, mate. So Nub Nub doesn't know shit. I'm not surprised. Dude's literally a fucking hosen. These guys are not the most bright beings in this. So I've got to go ask this drunk person now if they know anything. I feel like I know how this is going to go. Winds howling today. Steer clear of Thar Palace. It's like the corpse smoking area. Uh-oh. So, if anyone's ever been to the corpse smoking area, this is pretty much what it's like. If you want a good idea. So now we've got to go, I guess, find 
Corpse worse. No, Corpse glorious. Corpse glorious, man. Um, call me bias, but I miss that place so much. If you die in the corpse smoking area, you definitely ascend to the halls of Valhalla because you died in glorious battle. That's a fact. I'm guessing somebody found the treasure then. Cool. And there's this here. Oh, I miss, tr uh, I miss it. I miss it a lot. A diamond in a pile of dog shit. That's great. Literally somebody, me describing myself to another person. A diamond buried in a pile of dog shit. Um, but it's, um, yeah, like. It's, it's bizarre how much I miss a place like Corp. I mean, I love Corp, and I knew I'd miss it. But I didn't think I'd miss it this much until it's been taken away from me by... Not force, but you get the point. Like, where it's not that I've chosen not to go for a while, it's that I physically can't go. Do you know what I mean? It's different. It feels... Di it hits differently when you realise that it's not that you don't... You've gone... You've not gone by choice. That you can't go. And the fact that you can't go feels different. Ah, that hits the spot. <sighs> Say, Flick, whatever happened to that woman you were always talking about? You know, the one with hair like raven's down? Is that Talia <laughs> he's talking about? Sticky floor. I miss a sticky uh, floor um, too. Uh, not now, Venric. We're here on serious business. So this one, oh, we can get a decent shield off this. That's cool. Uh, tear down six iron tide recruiting posters. I'm Build rat orders. Cut water corsair orders and the black water orders. Black water. Um, I'm trying to hear black water. I just think of a red dead. It's black water. Um, oh, hang on. Just doing the rainbow challenge, which really isn't a challenge when you're an alco. I mean, same, right? I very often would just do the rainbow challenge unintentionally. So this is my version of like it's like a blue pint, well, white pint. It's Monster Zero, so like the kind of orangey lemony flavor, uh, quite citrusy, nice. And then I've mixed it with a shitload of rum. So I don't have vodka. I use rum at home. Ah, oh, crap. I miss everything about Corp, except for closing time. My, my brother works there, so my brother misses having a job. Well, not having a job. He's still got his job there, but obviously they're furloughed. I second them opening as a garden. If you saw their Corp um, Facebook post, I second them opening as a, as a garden center so I could get one of my blue plant pots on a Friday night. Require a target. I'm a pirate, guys. Seriously. Me, real pirate. Ignore big lighty paladin armor. Me, brain big. Me, bring hat to pretend pirate. See, the rainbow challenge is easy, if you ask me. Putting my torch, the phone under my pint to make it glow. <laughs> That is, yeah, that's a big brain move right there. See, that's 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 big PP energy right there. Um, I, I remember um, 
God, I remember I did that. Oh, I got a follow. Um, Shadowlack. <laughs> Shadowlack, thanks for the follow, man. We hit our follower goal. That's sick. So I'm just going to... Well, thank you. We reached our follower goal. Down the rest of my drink for that. Whew. That was a lot of rum. Time we need to update the follower goal. Thank you so much for being the 20th follower, my man. I really appreciate the follow. Now we can set a different follower goal, but thank you so much for that. Everyone is... Hey. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Chad. Like, you're a fucking beast. Um, as I say, it's hard starting out on... Ah, oh, fuck you, man. Um, it just stay weird. Of course I will, man. Um, but it's like, with, with, with myself, it's... Being a small streamer, you gotta like, you gotta push, and you gotta um, you gotta put yourself out there because you'll never grow. And um, I have this relaxed atmosphere about my streams, and I've been told that by other followers that's what they like about it because it's more chilled out than your average WoW stream where someone's sweating out Mythic plus two million. And screaming because the DPS didn't do. How close am I to getting my affiliate? Uh, I honestly don't know. I haven't checked. Uh, Kel Bell has become a follower. Oh, thank you, Kel Bell, for the follower. 50 for affiliate. Oh, wow. Okay, I'm getting quite a few followers tonight. This is awesome. Um, what's hap What did I do? <laughs> I must have, uh, that's, that's awesome. Thank you for the follow, Kelbel. That's fantastic. We are, we're getting there. We're, we're building it up. Thank you for, thank you for coming. And thanks for everyone who's been engaging with this. This is actually the most people we've had in stream at one time. Uh, and I appreciate that. Oh, crap. Um, so, um, this is awesome. So all of you guys... You guys are making this, like, this is easily the best stream we've ever had. Um, in terms of popularity and the amount of follows we've got in a single stream. This is awesome. Um, so, um, I'm having a hell of a time. In fact, I'm going to get some more rum. <laughs> yeah, that'll, that's about it. Eyeball it. That's about, that's about right. Um... Me? I'm well excited for Shadowlands, honestly. Um, and the reason for my excitement for uh, Shadowlands is it's quite simple. Uh, a lot of people are bitching about Sylvanas playing 4D chess, right? Saying, oh, she's Mary Sue. No, right, listen. Sylvanas is a conniving, scheming character. And she's completely in character to have been doing her own thing all this time. I'm super excited to see what the afterlife has to offer WoW. Uh, I think that it's going to be interesting. It's new lore, mostly. Um, I want to see who we're going to encounter. Uh, it's nice to see Ian has a Costas. Um, I was so excited for my... Yeah, yeah, man. Listen, I'm a HP Lovecraft fan. I'm a huge fan of Lovecraft. I absolutely adore Cthulhu and all those stories. The Call of Cthulhu, Mountains of Madness, the Night Gaunts. So I was a little disappointed with Nihilotha. I just wanted it to be more than a patch. I wanted the Black Empire to be an expansion. But I wanted Nihilotha to be a huge sprawling zone with your way you got all these old gods that are running crazy. Like all the old gods are reincarnated. So Yog Saran, Cthun, they're all there. They're all fucking shit up. Um and Basically, we got to go in and stop them with the help of the Titans, but the, but then we realized that by doing so, the consequences we could have let the void. I've been playing now, on and off, 
admittedly. I've been playing WoW since um, just before... I want to say just before the Sunwell patch. Sometime around then. Um, the Titans are a joke, yeah. Um, I mean, the Titans... If you've heard of Pyromancer... I like what he says, which is that the that the um, that the, the, py that the Titans, they're not they're not as it, as as great as everyone thinks they are. The Titans just want to order everything, but they fear the fact that they are not powerful enough. And I say I I consider um, what's her name now? The Titan, uh, it escapes me. Um, but it's um. I consider the the tight, and I I think that the Titans are not as strong as they are made out to be. So A and R, A and R, I think she is a problem in the cosmology. Um, I play on Azure Mist EU and Argent Dawn if I'm playing Horde EU. Um, so I do play. Um, I mainly, I've gone back to Azure Mist EU because, um, I, this is where I started, um, one second. So there, I've just popped it in the chat, um. And so, um, Azure Miss is the server that I started on in Burning Crusade. Let me just adjust this camera. There we go. Sorry, it was a little too high up, and I was like, I felt like I was thinking. Um, and Azure Miss is the server I started on back in Burning Crusade. Uh, I started with a Draenei Paladin. Um, I made the silly mistake uh, of, um,. Moving my characters across to a server when all my buddies Cheers. did. Um, but they all quit well. Which was just... You know, it sucked. So I got all these characters on the server, including my then Blood Elf Paladin. Uh, and I didn't want to pay to move it back. So what I did was I went back to my original server. I'd unlocked the Lightforge. So I've created my Lightforge tank Paladin. Um... Pulling your heartstrings? Really? Ah. Um, and it's like, so... All my buddies dropped out. So I went back to the server where it all started for me. And where my friends introduced me to it. Hell, I've even rejoined the Blackland Skirmishers Guild. Which was the original guild that took me in on my first day on WoW. So I went back to my original guild... I went back to my original class and spec, just made a light forged version of, and now we're about to hit 120 on that. So I've gone back to where I feel like I belong in the game, which is back on my original server, with my original guild, playing my original class. Big pop for US. Ah, okay. Um, yeah, and it was horrible. I mean, I moved during WOD. And I, all time, but we all stopped. Um, and I feel that. Um, now, I moved just, sorry, not during WOD, but just before WOD. So, during Siege of Orgrimmar, right at the very end. So, me and my ex, we used to play in a guild. And a lot of us, that they were all moving to a different server. Um, we moved. And then me and my ex broke up. And then a lot of those friends stopped playing. So I was left on this server by myself for a very long time. And um, so I decided, and then that's when I had a break from Wards of Draenor for, what, 12 months? I just couldn't face playing the game on my own. Like, it was like, it, it wasn't the same to me. But now, I'm... Um, I, I found my own servers, like Argent Dawn and stuff. Um... And all that stuff. I found my own um, my own servers and stuff. And what I decided to do was, even though I'd, be, I'd started streaming by then, I realized that what was making me feel a bit burnt out 
and a bit deflated and a little fed up was that I missed my sense of community. So I went back to my original server once I unlocked Lightforge Draenei, made a protection paladin, which is what I'd mained Burning Crusade through to Warlords of Draenor, and started again. And I messaged the old guild guys, I'm like, hey, do you guys remember me? And do you know what? They do remember me. Oh, and thank you for the follow on YouTube. You fucking rap, man. Um, and it's like, you know, those guys, they, they remembered me. And that meant a lot. Like, I came back to this guild and like, they fucking remembered me. You know what I mean? Like, I've been away from this guy for like five years and they remember me. Um, and it's like, yeah, it didn't feel the same, but you know, it doesn't feel the same. It still doesn't feel the same, but I'm having so much fun being back on this server playing like this. Sure, I'm not playing with my guild, but I'm actually really enjoying myself and it's fantastic. Um, so Runaway McCaw needs to be fed. We need to find the orders. Okay, so... What? Oh, we got to jump on these things. Oh, crap. Um, yeah, I mean, I used to be their raid tank. Like, I remember, like, I, I was talking to them about, um... Um, it's like, I used to raid with them. I used to be their main tank for ICC. Way back in ICC. ICC 25 and 10, man. I was their, I was their guy. But they, they came to me for... For raiding like they were like yeah bro we need you come on you know and um so i had to be made i had to make sure i was online because i was their main tank way back when and now th the worst Ugh, icc yeah yeah now for me it we never had a guild breaker moment but we always got as far as um Saofang. and Saofang fucked us like, Saofang's like, bite the pillow, I'm going in dry. Um, and, um, and then that was where, once we got past Saofang, we made it all the way to the Lich King with pretty much no major struggle. Like, yeah, sure, it was a couple of, couple of attempts. And then we kept, yeah, that miserable, the fucking blood worms. And that was it, like... It was, I was tanking it, and I could survive, but then I was like, okay, this, these stacks, these stacks are getting too much, then one, ta the other tank dies, then the healers all stop dropping, I'm just like, oh, no. <laughs> um, and it was, um, the fucking, uh, on the Lich King, too far away. when we got to the Lich King during what would have been cutting edge time, I am out of range. uh, we, we kept fa failing, you know, when the, he summons the Valkyrie, and he's like, Valkyrie, your master calls, and they all come down, and like, just yank like they always seem to take our healers or our ranged and we're like no 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 please please <laughs> not those guys please um and um we never quite did it at cutting edge we did do it and we succeeded and it was such a big pass I, I remember i'd had a really terrible day um and um I came on raid night, I'd ordered some takeout food, I was I feeling sucky, um, I'd, I'd had a, it's like, it's like college, I suppose, like sixth form, which is like an additional two years of high school that we do, and you get an A level out of it, so it's like qualification, uh, over here in England, and I remember, I remember very distinctly, I'd had a really awful day, because I'd been making a website for my computer, um, IT coursework. And it had basically um, deleted itself. And, um... <laughs> you got a clip. <laughs> oh man, but oh yeah, I knew that was gonna get memed. Uh <laughs> Thank you. 
I should not have started this brawl. Um, I've st it's just like real life. Starting a bar fight, I can't finish. Um, by the pillow, I'm going in dry. That's definitely going to be my my tagline for my next stream. No, um, but that's literally what um, how it felt fighting Overlord Southang back in the day. Now that guy was just an asshole. I need to target something first. But I hated every second of that fight because I knew it was going too well. And when it was going too well, that's when you knew it was going to go. What have you been craving, man? Blue pint. I've been craving a blue pint. Ah, so you're a corp goer. I like the fact that a lot of people that are watching this are people that I I probably know, but I don't know who you are. But I love Chadalak as a name. That's amazing. If I ever make a Zandalari troll, I'm calling him Chadalak. Or something of that nature. Uh, but no, I, I, I remember... Um, back when I was um, so new to this game, these guys in this guild, they were so good to me. I need to talk and it was like, first. it was so nice. Like, these, th this is the guild, and the reason I came back is that I want to be kind of that older voice in the guild that sets up events to help maybe newer players. To, uh, to help newbies, gearing, maybe some transmog runs, you know. I want to set guild events up for that. Streaming schedule, like... Okay, my streaming schedule is usually every other day, and it usually starts between 10 and 10.30 p.m. Um, unless something happens, it's every other day. And then the All weekend, right. sometimes it's Saturday, sometimes it's Sunday, depending on availability. So... This weekend, I believe it's tomorrow night, but I'm not sure. The reason I haven't published a schedule is because I'm trialing a few different ways of doing it at the minute. Because once I've found a finite schedule, that will be published and that will be what I do. Uh, at the minute, I'm still working out the kinks. Like, you know, I'm, I'm, I am working out what is, what's good for me on stream. So Friday nights are really good on stream for me. These are my busy nights. I mean, Saturday and Friday, you know. Uh, Sunday tends to be a little quiet, but I do it sometimes. Um, I tend to do Wednesdays after my DDP yoga class. But it's usually about 10 p.m. Between 10 and 11 is when I start. Uh, because of my two kids, um, it depends on A, bedtime, B, how the kids are behaving, C, if my partner's fucking dying dealing with them by herself. You know what I mean? Uh, Cutwater Corsair or... Uh, I've still got to kill Too these guys. Away. Just give me the orders. Like, that's fine. They're gnomes. They don't count if you kill them. They're not real people. It says the, the dude who's literally a giant glowing space goat. Who's been blessed by a sacred wind chime? I must get closer. Sorry, one second, guys.
I'm a huge fan of the music in WoW. Sorry about that. I was just replying to my cousin who's setting up like a family quiz. My inventory is full. Um, oh, my inventory is full. Fucking ace, man. Uh, let's see. Just... 114 golds worth of stuff? Nah, man. Um, my favourite song in WoW is um, there's Othranagor, of course, which is the artist my son. Uh, and I also love uh, Anduin's theme from Legion, if you've listened to it. Uh, Anduin's theme from WoW, I absolutely love. I also love the Azure Mist Isle sort of ambient music. You know, the background music from there. First. But for me, the the music that I I adore in this game is uh, Anduin's theme from Legion. And also Warlords, controversially, Warlords of Draenor, the cinematic uh, soundtrack. I want to know what's your favourite. What's your favourite, man? Sorry about this. Just adjusting my chair because it's all about that lumbar support. You know. I love WoW's music. WoW's music is so good. Like they're a master of their sound. Like the Lich King's soundtrack. Well, the soundtrack on Lich King was just beautiful. I've got a feeling we're going to have an amazing soundtrack for Shadowlands. Uh, what other games do I play? Um, at the minute, I'm doing a lot of WoW content. But in my downtime, um, I've got Halo Reach, which I play sometimes. A little Modern Warfare every now and then. Um, I'm planning on playing Dark Souls and maybe The Witcher. Um, right, play, playing through The Witcher again. Um... I've got Quake Champions, but I haven't had a go at it yet. My my buddy who wants to play it with me is kind of taking a hiatus, so. But mainly, I I'm I'm really into my MMO, so Warcraft. This game has taken several years of my life, so if I don't dedicate to it now, what can I do? When you realise this dude looks like every other guy in a pop punk, uh, th this guy looks like every other dude in a pop punk venue who has an IPA and is preying on the fourteen-year-old girls in the front row. I'm just saying. <laughs> Until next. So I've got to rescue Flynn. What kind of trouble has he got himself into? And when can I take this hat off? I mean, not that I want to, but, you know. Oh, hang on a second. Sorry, my I've got family messaging me just asking me about how uh, stuff's going. Just want to say, everyone who's followed me tonight and come and check me out, thank you so much already. Like, honestly, you guys are fucking awesome. Like, I'm not going to lay it on thick with you guys, but I was having a pretty shitty evening. Emotionally, at least. And you guys have just made it fucking awesome. Like, you guys have smashed the follower goal. We've had loads of viewers, and we've had loads of interaction. This is awesome. Like, I love this. Hello, the coop. You did it. So, my pretties come back. Yes, yes, yes. Your precious parrot's safe with me. Uh, drop vile bombardment on 100 pirates in the freehold. Okay, so I get to ride a giant parrot? Hell yeah. Hi, Kelbell. How's it going? 
How are you guys all doing tonight, by the way? What are you guys up to at the minute? You get any games you guys are playing? Anything you're doing in quarantine? Is there anything you guys are particularly proud of you've, you've done in quarantine um, that you've started? Like, I managed to start my Twitch and my YouTube channel. And that, for me, is 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 huge because I'm not a very confident person. So I want to know what you guys, what have you guys done? Recovering from COVID. Wait, did you actually get it, man? Just your wife. Yes, I have seen four light. Wait, hang on. I think I know who you are now. Tickle. If you're asking if I've seen four lions, call me Wama. I am out of range. <laughs> Lost the ability to sleep. Nah, man, I feel you. Like I've got two kids, and they're the, they, they wear me out, but my kid's sleep schedule's off, which means mine is off by, by default. I've got two daughters, like, under the age of four, so both of them. The concept of time, I mean, time is a concept, realistically, but it is out, out completely out the window. So what I tend to do is play video games and then drink a lot of copious amounts of alcohol, and that puts me to sleep instead. And uh, also, Kelbell, since you haven't, you, haven't, um, you haven't said much in chat tonight, how's it going? How you doing? Thanks for stopping by and checking us out. I mean, honestly, I really appreciate all the viewership. This is this is more than I um. It may seem it may seem like baby steps, but you know I'm a small streamer at the end of the day. This is this is a brilliant audience for, for what I've been doing so far, and I'm really grateful. Like honestly, super happy about this. Um. It's just making it like it makes it worth it because I've been putting in the work. Uh, streamed more and more and realize I can get affiliate quite easy. I need to maintain an average of three viewers. That's what it is. That's what it is. You need to maintain an average. And I've been saying this like my friend. I've been a couple of my friends have started streaming, and I 100% have encouraged them to do so. I've said you need to, if you want to do it. Do you know three people who would watch you? Kind of thing. You know, that's that's what I've been saying to them. Do you, and you need to just keep that constant. You need to keep a constant viewership. You just need to keep plugging away. At the end of the day, persistence is what will get you what you need. Persistence will get you um, will get you this because there are streamers out there who probably play to an empty crowd every night. Oh, we got 21 followers. I'm very happy with that. That's awesome. You guys are all awesome. Um, have you got the achievement of five people chatting at once? If you should pit something in chat. Okay. No, we haven't got the achievement for that. However, I want to know if you guys have got a favorite game. Rubber Dingy Rapids, bro. Tickle my pickle. You call me mama. Give me back the chips. Give me back the chips, bro. <laughs> I think I know who this is. Um, anyway, what I was about to say was I want to know if you guys got a favorite game soundtrack that you have. I just want to know out of interest because mine is definitely Arthur's My Son or alternatively it is... Um, Anduin from Legion's theme. So I wonder if you guys have got a favourite game soundtrack or a favourite soundtrack from a game or a song that's been featured in the game. Ooh. Totems of Grizzlemore from Wrath of the Lich King. Ah. That's an interesting. Hits you for some reason. Do you know what hits me? The Grizzly Hills soundtrack.
The Grizzly Hills soundtrack gets me every time. I don't know why. It just it fills me with nostalgia. Also, the original Dalaran theme song. Or Dalar Lag. You know when you used to hit Crystal Song Forest? And you would be hit by a wall of lag? you get into Crystal Song and it would take you 15 more minutes. We Sports. So I've got to rescue... I've got to get Fl I've got to rescue Flynn, haven't I? For those of you who are uninitiated in what's going on here, he's basically Captain Jack Sparrow, but worse. My favourite Wii Sports theme is the um... ah, you named your DK Thranagor. That's really cool. I like that. Like I um I always try and give my Death Knights well all of my characters law appropriate I'm names. So it doesn't have to but mean anything, it has to just sound correct. So hmm. my paladin here, he's called Taradun. Taradun, because that's like a a, a Draenei name. Harwin's sweet bothers me fundamentally. He doesn't look like he should be human. I feel like he is. Hi, Lord Arbiter. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming. I hope you're doing good, man, tonight. By the way, anyone in chat? Lord Arbiter streams um, MWO. So uh, go check him out. I'm good, man. I'm good. Having a really good night on stream tonight. We've got a lot of people in here tonight by, co by comparison no, no, no. to what wrong. we've been used to. So, MWO. So, um, I'll let Lord Arbiter take over on that because he's the expert. He It's um, it's basically mech... It's like mech... Like, I think it's mech warfare or something along those lines. It's like... Um, it's basically a game where you are all in a mech and you are all fighting one another. Uh, and it... it, it if, uh, that's it, Mech Warrior Online. I've not checked it out myself. It's pretty cool. From what I've seen, I've watched Lord Arbiter's stream. And like myself, Lord Arbiter is pretty new to this. And it seems pretty cool. I mean, it's not normally what I would go for, but I think that. I definitely think that obviously uh, if you guys are all for supporting new channels and also another fellow Sheffielder who is trying to get started on, on streaming, then you've got Lord Arbiter too. He's really cool. And, and I just want to say that like obviously Lord Arbiter has been here and he has supported me on nearly every damn stream that I've done. So this guy is, you know, this, this guy, I've got a lot of respect for this guy. Why is this trick shot, like, not actually... He wasn't shooting me. What the hell was that? Like, he's just there, like... You're supposed to die now, sir. Y you know, you, you, you aim the gun, and that's when you kill. He... If I have to tell a guy how to shoot a gun, then I'm definitely... I'm definitely not gonna do that. But now, um... Where do I hand this quest in? Hang on a minute. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, Talia, she's Why here. Sea Raiders helmet. Uh, no, it's same item level. I'll take the Raiders spoulders. I cannot carry more. I wouldn't be doing it without my help. Ah, oh, nah, man. Honestly, like it's nothing. Like I, I just think that everyone should give this a go. If they've got a passion for gaming. They have a lot of fun doing what they do. Action. You guys, like... I'm not going to take all the credit for your hard work, man. You know what I mean? Like... Let's see what we've got here. Any 
any good traits. Now I'm going to take that one. Why not? Hey. Okay. Oh god. Uh, my transmog is ruined, but okay. I've tried my whole yard for this. Ride with Talia. Stay on we hold. must get to Vigil Hill. Quick! Hop on! Cool. I'm just going to cut this part for YouTube. Hold One on second. Tight.